Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Shiva Ravindra. Today I am going to explain the question number 59. So most of the programmers who are already working in the oncology, they don't know the exact definitions of the odds ratio, hazard ratio and confidence intervals and p-value. Here I just giving the overview about these topics. So odds ratio nothing but the compare the odds of an event like tumor shrinkage or anything of the primary object related stuff happening in the treatment A versus treatment B. For example, here odds ratio, how we are calculating. So some subjects are taking drug A, some subjects are taking the drug B. So in this drug A, 40 were responded, 60 were not responded. Drug B, 20 were responded, 80 were not responded. So drug A odds nothing but 40 divided by 60, one value, odds B, some value. Of odds ratio that drug A odds by drug B odds will get value. So that means what you know, the patients on the drug A is 2.7 means here what it is 2.68 right? 2.7 times more likely to respond than the drug B. Okay, that means drug A has a more effective than the drug B, but it is a clinically effective or not, we will not checking here. Just we are checking which drug is more likely to respond okay so the responses given by the drug a or drug b we are comparing by using the odds ratio okay so what is hazard ratio hazard ratio nothing but risk over time hazard ratio comparing the how much risk of using this drug or this drug comparing the between this two drug which drug has a more risk as which drug has a less risk okay so use to time to event survival analysis for example hazard ratio you are giving 0.65 like that by using proc frag or some other procedure that means what you are getting a value hazard ratio less than one that is treatment is better first treatment is better than the second treatment if you are comparing if you are getting the greater than one so treatment is worse first treatment is worse than the second treatment that is what here. So at the given time, the risk of the death in the drug A, 35% lower than the drug B. Here we are getting 0.65. That means less than the one treatment is better. Okay. So, but 35% of low because 0.65 you are getting, right? So that is why drug A group is 35% lower than the drug B risk. Okay, risk over time, risk of the death here. Okay, risk of the death is lower. That means a drug having a more efficient, but risk of the death is lower comparing to the drug B. That is what I'm telling here. By using the drug A, so you are getting a less risk of death comparing to the drug B. So what is the 95% confidence? Nothing but the range what the median value you are getting there so 95 percent we are telling accurate your value is going to get in the particular range the ranges are more wide the value you are not depend you know that the value you are not more accurate so your range is you know shorter that means what the value you are getting the median value it is a more reliable value Okay, so here 0.4 to 0.88, 95% sure that your value, hazard ratio or you know the median value is you know between these ranges only. The CI includes one, the result might be not significant. Okay, so CI is the ranges, hazard ratio is the risk, hazard ratio compare the risk over time, odds ratio nothing but the comparing the odds value between the two treatments okay and the p value what the p value you are getting you are getting the p value below less than 0 0.05 it is a more significant value that means comparison there greater than the 0 0.05 that is not a more significant difference between the two treatment so here the terms hypothesis null hypothesis means no difference between the treatment alternative hypothesis means there is a difference okay so if it is less than 0 0.05 that is a alternative hypothesis if it is a greater than 0 0.05 it is a null hypothesis okay if it is a 0 0.05 less than we reject the null hypothesis reject the null hypothesis in the sense 
alternate hypothesis. If fail to reject the null hypothesis, means that is a null hypothesis. Yeah, so here the summary table odds ratio, odds and event A versus B, risk over time, likely range of uh, this OR and HR, P value nothing but changes in the results in the normal. Yeah, thanks for watching video. If you want more interesting video, please subscribe my YouTube channel.